This is a production of WTVI PBS Charlotte. The dog is so sweet. Such a good boy. With a little help from a therapy dog and a new place to learn, Braden Rush now has a new outlook when it comes to getting good grades. I feel great and I feel like I've improved a lot. But school didn't always come easily to the 10 year old. At age eight, Braden was diagnosed with ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, a neurological disorder that affects one's ability to focus and concentrate. He also struggled with writing assignments. Braden's mom, Kathleen, says she noticed his confidence started to diminish and his self-esteem took a hit. He was still getting good grades, which was, which was great, but the main difference we saw was just his stress level. And for a child that young, that can be really heartbreaking for a parent to say. Completing homework became a daily chore and an uphill battle. Trying to get him to sit down after he'd been sitting all day and to focus really became a struggle, um, not only for him, but for me, <laughs> who was there doing, you know, trying to help him with it. My old school was um, stressing and it wasn't as, um, it didn't help me and improve. It didn't teach me the way that I need to be teached because that school was like for kids without disabilities. Realizing Brayden needed a different learning environment, Kathleen started doing her own homework. And she learned about the John Crosland School, a school specifically designed for children with disabilities. We make a lot of different accommodations based on what the individual students need from the way the building was painted, colors that were used as a calming effect, the type of lighting that we have, the lights are, are made so that they don't buzz, hum, or, or that the light doesn't flicker. A short time after enrolling her son at the John Crosland School, Kathleen says she noticed an immediate change in Braden. He began taking more ownership, and those homework assignments, which used to take hours to complete, became less overwhelming. About eight weeks into school, he would come home, unpack his bag by himself, sit down, do his homework. I wouldn't even have to remind him. I wouldn't have to stand over his shoulder. He's become so much more independent. Braden now makes straight A's, and he's even on the school honor roll. At my old school, I didn't write as good as I did now. I wasn't as neat. I hated math at their school. Now I really like math here. He's doing fantastic here. Felicia Robinson understands Braden's struggle all too well. Her son Jordan was also diagnosed with ADHD and dyscalculia, which causes difficulty processing numbers. Felicia says Jordan's poor performance in school indicated he needed extra academic support. The stress of the situation spilled over into their family life. For the parents, it's, it's also social and emotional because you also don't know who you can trust that information with because you want to protect your child. So. Um, it was very difficult for me and my husband at first and very emotional, but then we get into, you know, gear mode and what can we do to position our child for success. Once Jordan got settled in the John Crosland School, Felicia says his grades began to improve. Now the 14-year-old is on track and dreams of becoming a cartoonist one day. They try to look at the child as an individual and create an environment that helps that child to really be empowered to do what they, what they feel they want to do. It's been great education. I really enjoyed the teachers and they teach us new stuff and they are super smart and they are really well educated like us, like we are. Atlantic. Atlantic. Jennifer Nichols says the school combines specialized curriculum and technology to engage students. To watch them get excited and realize, wow, I can do this. I can do math. I didn't think I could, but I can. And I can decide what I want to do. And I feel good about me. And hey, I'm pretty smart. And to watch that process over time and to watch them become more confident, bolder, begin to choose things, begin to follow their passions, it excites me every day. But attending class here isn't cheap. Tuition can cost up to $20,000 annually. A number of the students here receive financial aid, and most parents agree their child's academic success is worth the financial sacrifice. Two-thirds of those families never thought they would be paying for secondary education. And so it's very difficult, and many of them raid retirement funds, they sell their homes, they do the things that they need to do, take on extra jobs, and it's very difficult. The school will eventually have capacity for 250 students, but Nichols says the need is much greater. We could use many schools like this, but 
it requires funding. Until more schools like John Crosland become available, Kathleen says it's important for parents to understand their child's learning style. For the parents out there that have children that are in a school now that may be struggling and they've been on the fence, you know, where do I look? I would say just start doing your research, visit schools, get to know your child. Um, there's always financial aid available at schools. For Carolina Impact, I'm Sarah Batista reporting.